Hi, this is Ahmed Alogaili and Manos Brilakis presenting case 247 for the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case in which the first attempt to recanalize a right coronary artery CTO failed. However, a second attempt was subsequently successful. The patient was an elderly gentleman with dyspnea and angina on exertion. He had previous coronary bypass, but the bypass graft to the right coronary artery was occluded and the native RCA uh, was a CTO. He was sent for recanalizing the CTO of the right coronary artery that was considered to be the culprit vessel. On angiography, the right coronary artery is diffusely diseased and heavily calcified. And the occlusion is at the distal segment with uh, the posterior lateral and PDA reconstituting through collaterals uh, both epicardial and maybe some septal collaterals as well. So to summarize, we have an RCA CTO with a clear proximal cap. The length is about 40 millimeters, bifurcation distal cap. And then there is the dominant circumflex collateral filling the right posterior lateral and maybe some septals. Given this anatomy, the plan was to start with undergrade wiring and then uh, potentially try to do retrograde through septals and if everything fails, go for ADR. So we tried for undergrade. This is a filter XTA through a Corsair Pro, which seemed to go into the extra plug space. We left it in place and then we tried to advance uh, a Gaia Next 2 in a parallel wire fashion, but unfortunately the wire is also outside the vessel architecture. After this, we decided to do the retrograde attempt. We did selective injections through the septal first and third septal, but unfortunately we were not able to advance a guide wire through that. We then went back under grade and knuckle a Gladius Mongo guide wire. We do see that the guide wire is into the extra plug space next to the distal cap. And then we tried to re-enter using the Stingray balloon. And our problem here is that the re-entry zone is fairly narrow because we have the bifurcation. And if we re-enter too distal into the posterior lateral, that would lead into loss of the PDA. Also, we notice here that the guide wire is actually at some distance from the vessel, which makes re-entry harder. We eventually did pop sled into the posterior lateral and um, we did the stick and drive technique with an Astato 20 wire that seemed to actually advance into the true lumen. This um, was uh, switched uh, for a workhorse guide wire. And then we used a dual lumen microcatheter, the Recross, along with another polymer jacketed Gladius Mongo that also advanced into the PDA extra plaque. Essentially, this is a star technique into the PDA. We did a balloon. Uh, both vessels, and this is what we have, which is some undergrade flow. Obviously, there is uh, quite some dissection, but we do have filling into the PDA, and we do have filling into the posterior lateral. However, the concern here is that uh, we do have a distal vessel perforation, likely due to movement of the guide wire too distally. So what to do next? Uh, we did not want to leave this. This is a bypass patient and loculated effusions can happen, causing loculated tamponade. So we advanced the guide wire and then we deployed two axiom coils. We then removed all the equipment and gave protamine. We did not place any stents. We can have a lot of uh, dissection right at this bifurcation as well as at the PDA origin. So we did not want to place any stents. Plus, given the perforation, we did not want to pursue any additional attempts. So the patient went home and then returned two months later for another attempt. And as is often seen, especially when we restore undergrade flow during the original investment procedure with STAR, is that we did have good flow into the posterior lateral. This is the coil into the small branch of the posterior lateral, but there is some undergrade flow, which made us optimistic that we could wire this quickly and uh, use workhorse wires. But unfortunately, we soon enter into an extra plug space and we had to actually use um, um, stiff guide wires. This was a Hornet 14 that went into the right posterior lateral. We then used a dual loop microcatheter, tried to re-enter a little more proximally. We did the 
stick and drive technique with uh, the Stingray balloon along with the Gaia Next 3 guide wire. And that wire seemed to advance along the course of the vessel going next to the previously coiled area. So we do have, um, it looks like, a good uh, position of the guide wire distally. We ballooned this and we stand it. We made sure we did not stand more proximal since uh, there was a occlusion of the PDA. But uh, this uh, led to good flow into the right posterior lateral. Dimitri flow, that inferior branch, is not feeling very well, but all the other branches look pretty good. So several lessons from this case. The first one is uh, that when we have a lot of dissection, it is often best to not place stents, but instead just balloon, restore undergrade flow, and bring the patient back. Second, regarding the perforation we had initially, even though we did change our guide wire for the workhorse guide wire, it likely moved too far into this small branch of the posterior lateral, causing a perforation. This is a bypass patient. There is a risk of loculated diffusions, so we ended up coiling it, removing everything, and giving protamine, and the patient did fine. And then, finally, when the patient came back, it was still challenging to advance the guide wire, but once again, we were able to use the Stingray, got some good flow, and restore the gray flow into the posterior lateral. We did not um, try to go into the PDA. This will be staged on a different procedure. Thank you.